by painting the world I would love to live. It's a way to keep believing in things. My mom always told me that at three years, I went to her and said, you know, I will do the painter when I grow up. And then she was very shocked because, I mean, I was three years old. All the study you have to do to be an artist in Italy, like uh, artistic high school and then fine art, and all these academies, I will say, pushed me to paint in the street, you know, as a reaction. And my father would say, why are you painting graffiti on the street? You know, what this? You studied art. These are all walls I painted. If somebody will come to me when I was a teenager, saying to me, you know, one day you will travel all the world doing big walls, I would laugh, probably. Now, the funny thing of social media, that every day by doing my hashtag, I can see the state of my painting all around the world, you know? Oh, this one got a tag, this one is rusty. <laughs> Maybe I need one blue. And then we want uh, this. In my family, there are a lot of strong women, and that's been uh, giving me the inspiration of painting what I do. Most of the art history is about men painting women. Uh, this is not good for uh, women artists. I really wanted to, to show to the other girls who was a woman signing. Signing with my real name was a crazy idea. <laughs> my idea of art that I was thinking would be mine and personal. I would never expect to share this with the community, with the people. I received this email from a very little village in the more, more forgotten region in Italy, that is Molise. From all the little villages existing in Italy, this is the village where my grandfather was born. It's a beautiful village. You have a medieval castle, it's on the mountain, it's like fantastic. So I went there and I was not going there since uh, little girls. The village I found was completely different. All the young people were gone. There are no more school, the school are closed. When I started to paint on the abandoned houses, all the scene of the old life of the town. And uh, I did it really for, uh, for love. I never wanted to organize a street or festival because there are so many. But then we started to think, you know, maybe there is a chance for this place. So the, the year after, I went back with five friends and we had so many people coming. We were, were shocked. A lot of in the newspaper and then like on the television. So all the village was watching the news all together in the bar. It was very funny. And they see like maybe famous DJ, famous chef, important international artists coming to their little place in the middle of nothing that they feel proud. And they say, wow, tourists are coming now here, it's crazy. And now we have hope that things can change. Maybe we can bring back kids again. It's about the community, it's about how we can fight the destiny to disappear. And then the fact that what I'm doing is gathering people and hope, that to me was a surprise and that's what's been pushing me forward. It's all about sharing with the people.